Welcome to Miniranch. In this video, we will be performing SSO into Atlassian Cloud and any SAML identity provider using Miniranch's identity broker solution. Identity brokering is a way to establish trust between parties who want to use online identities of one another. It provides a centralized way to manage identities across multiple security domains. Manirange also provides cross-protocol brokering which lets you to configure identity provider and service providers with different protocols. Let's see few benefits of Manirange Identity Broker. Easily migrate your server SSO settings into cloud. You can configure multiple identity providers to authenticate different types of users with different IDPs. Multiple department-based login allows users to redirect to their IDP based on their department. Domain mapping allows users to redirect to their IDP based on their email domains. Custom attribute mapping is a provision to update the user profile attributes in the application with the user attributes received from the IDP. Secure your SSO with signed requests and encrypted SAML assertions. Username transformation extracts the required username from the received attribute using regular expression. Group mapping allows to map users' IDP groups to application groups. Integrate your application with multiple user stores, like AD, LDAP, external database, etc. to easily manage your users. Faster and better troubleshooting issues, support, and end-to-end -end setup assistance. You can share plugin configurations and logs via email or customer portal. As discussed earlier, we will be configuring SAML SSO in Atlassian Cloud with the help of Atlassian Access and any IDP using Manirange Broker. The setup is divided into two parts. Part 1 will consist of configuration between Atlassian Cloud as SP and Manirange's IDP. And in part 2 we will configure SSO between Manirange's SP and any SAML IDP. Finally we will be concluding the setup by combining part 1 and 2 to show the SSO between Atlassian Cloud as SP and any SAML IDP using Manirange Broker. Firstly we will be configuring Atlassian Cloud SAML SSO with the help of Atlassian Access using Manirange IDP. Log in to Atlassian Access Admin Console. Navigate to the Security tab. Select SAML Single Sign-On. Click on the shown link to get the SAML configuration instructions for different identity providers. Here is the attributes for attribute mapping. You will find attributes for the user's first name, last name, and email ID. You can click here to view the setup guide for configuration. Click on Got It. Now click on Add SAML Configuration. To get these details, create a SAML application in the Miniorange IDP. This is the setup guide document with step-by-step -step instructions for configuration. You will find the link of this document in the description below. Use the shown link to go to the Miniorange login page. If you do not have Miniorange account, then you can create one with the help of create an account link in the login page. Log into Miniranch Admin Console. From the left panel, navigate to Apps. Click on Add Application. Go to SAML Card and create an app. Select Atlassian Cloud SAML App. Edit the custom application name as required. Enter the SP Entity ID and ACS URL as shown in the video. These are generic URLs which you will find in the description as well. You'll get the Atlassian Cloud's SP Entity ID and ACS URL once the app is successfully created in the Atlassian Cloud. Make sure that Sign Response and Sign Assertion button is enabled. Click on Save. Your app is configured successfully. To get the metadata details of this application, navigate to Metadata of the application as shown. Since we are using Miniorange's Identity Broker, Go to the information required to authenticate via external IDP section. Click on Show Metadata Details. Copy the IDP Entity ID and paste it in the given field in SAML App Configuration. Copy SAML Login URL and paste it in the given field. Copy X509 Certificate and paste it as shown. Click on Save Configuration. 
As the application is successfully created, you will find the actual SP Entity ID, and SPACS URL here. You can either copy paste these URLs directly into the application, or just copy the unique ID from these URLs, and go back to the menu range IDP, app section, edit your app, and append SP Entity ID, audience URL, and ACS URL, with the copied, unique ID. Save the changes. Application configuration will be updated successfully. Go back to Atlassian Cloud application, and navigate to View Authentication Policies. To enable the SSO for users, we need to add policy. Click on Add Policy, and enter the policy name. And click on Add. Under Single Sign-On, enabling for Single Sign-On, this will enforce the assigned members to log in to Atlassian products with your identity provider. Click on Update. Now go to Members. And click on Add Members. Enter the username and click on Add Members. Now in the Members section, you can see that the member was added successfully. In the menu range application, navigate to Users, and select User List. We have already added the user here. You can add user by clicking on Add User button. You can either add the user by adding personal details, and then click on Create. Or else you can add the users in a bulk, by uploading CSV file. You can download the sample CSV file using this link. Let's check the connection between Atlassian Cloud and Miniranch. Now, in the Atlassian Cloud login page, enter the user mail ID, and proceed. The user will be redirected to Miniranch login page for SAML authentication. Login with Miniranch IDP credentials. You will be successfully logged into the Atlassian Cloud app, using Miniranch credentials. Hence, test connection between Atlassian Cloud is SP, and Miniranch is an IDP is successful. If you do not have any identity provider, then you can always go with Miniranch, and your setup ends here. Let's configure SAML SSO in Miniranch's service provider, using any SAML identity provider. Here are the ways to configure Miniranch into your SAML identity provider. Metadata URL, it specifies the URL of a service provider where metadata can be obtained. Metadata XML file, is an XML document which contains information necessary for configuring SAML SSO with the service provider that is Miniranch. Manual Endpoints. In this we can manually configure endpoints, like ACS URL, that tells your identity provider where to send SAML response, after successful authentication. ACS URL is also identified as recipient URL, or destination URL. An SP Entity ID is used to uniquely identify your service provider. SP Entity ID is also known as audience URL. To get this metadata details, go to Miniranch IDP, and navigate to Identity Providers tab. Click on Add Identity Provider. In the SAML section, click here to get the Miniranch metadata information. As discussed earlier, if you want to configure Miniranch into your SAML IDP using metadata URL, copy the metadata URL, by clicking on the highlighted button. Now, to configure metadata using XML file, click on Show Metadata Details. Here you will find Download Metadata button to download the required XML file. To configure metadata endpoints like ACS URL and SP Entity ID manually, scroll down to see the metadata details. You will get the required details here. Now, let's see which are the methods that Miniranch supports for configuring SAML Identity Provider into Miniranch. Metadata URL specifies URL of the SAML Identity Provider where metadata can be obtained. Metadata XML file and metadata text contains the information necessary for configuring SAML SSO with the identity provider. And we can also set up metadata endpoints manually, that contains entity ID, SSO URL, and X509 certificate. You will get these details from your SAML identity provider. If your identity provider provides its metadata using URL, or XML file, or text, then in Miniranch Identity Providers tab, SAML section. Click on Import IDP Metadata. Here you can either put your IDP's metadata URL, 
text, or upload metadata file. If your identity provider provides manual endpoints, then in many orange identity providers tab, SAML section, you can set the endpoints in the given fields. Here, we will be taking an example of Okta as our SAML identity provider. So, let's configure MiniRange in Okta SAML identity provider. Here in Okta, in the application section, we are creating a SAML application. Enter the app name. And click on next. As discussed earlier, we can configure SAML IDP using these three methods. However, Okta support manual configuration. To find these information, go to Manirange Broker. Copy the ACS URL. And paste it in the given field in your IDP. Copy the entity ID. And paste it. Click on Next. Select the required option. Click on Finish. Once the application is created successfully, assign the users and the groups in the Assignments tab. Now, let's configure Okta as IDP in Miniorange. As we saw earlier, Miniorange supports all these methods to configure SAML IDP. However, Okta provides its metadata URL and manual endpoints for SAML configuration. To get metadata information in Okta application, go to the Sign On tab. You will find metadata information to manually configure Okta in Miniorange Broker using View Setup Instructions button. And to configure the metadata using metadata URL, click on Identity Provider Metadata link. We will proceed IDP SAML configuration using this metadata URL. Copy the URL. Go back to Add Identity Provider in Miniorange Broker. Here, we will be importing the details using URL. Click on Import Metadata button. Enter the IDP name. Select URL and paste the copy URL here and click on import. You can see that the data is imported in the respective fields. Secure your SAML request by enabling this option and click on save. Identity provider configuration is saved successfully. Now, let's check connection between Miniorange and SAML identity provider. Select your IDP and click on test configuration. You can see successful test configuration. Let's test our configuration between Atlassian Cloud and SAML IDP using Miniorange Identity Broker. You can see that the user is not mapped for SSO in Atlassian Access. Hence, while logging into Atlassian account, user won't be redirected to the IDP. Instead, the user will be asked for the account password. However, while configuring Atlassian Cloud with Miniorange Identity Broker, we had added this member, using Add Members options. Now go to Atlassian Cloud login page, and enter the user's mail ID. User will be redirected to Okta login page for SAML authentication. Login with your IDP credentials. You will be successfully logged into your Atlassian Cloud application dashboard with your SAML Identity Provider credentials by using Miniorange as a broker between Atlassian Cloud and SAML IDP. You can check our other Atlassian apps. LDAP Connector provides user authentication from various external directories for Atlassian access. Auth OIDC app allows users to log in into Atlassian Cloud with OAuth and OpenID Connect. Use two-factor authentication for secure login to your Atlassian Cloud applications. PDF Exporter app gives the ability to export JIRA issues in the standard business document file format like PDF and Word document. Create and share secure links for JIRA issues and Confluence pages, allowing end users to access the issue and pages without login. We have covered the configuration of Miniorange IDP as Identity Broker between Atlassian Cloud and any SAML identity provider. To understand more about OAuth or SAML configurations for your Atlassian Cloud applications, raise a ticket with us with a link in the description. Miniorange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.